just continuing on here working on the uh, intake manifold for the Briggs 327 three cylinder radio. I've pretty well got the uh, intake manifold uh, made here. I got a uh, Tecumseh uh, 8 horse carburetor bolted on her there. Hopefully that'll uh, be big enough. Um, anyway, I uh, used a uh, three quarter inch cross here for it and then uh, going with half inch copper uh, intake manifold runners. I'll uh, show them a little later on the video there but this is the main body of it anyway. I have to make a uh, flange to hold the carburetor there and uh, and uh, got, uh, got two uh, two mounts here uh, for it. Got to steady it since it's hanging out away from the engine that way there's going to be lots of vibration and things. So uh, anyway I just wanted to show you that. Got the uh, intake manifold uh, mounted onto the uh, 327 uh, three cylinder uh, radial Briggs here. As you can see, it's a half inch copper pipe. Uh, the top one there is number one cylinder, and uh, then uh, number two cylinder here, and then number three cylinder at the bottom. It has the uh, shortest uh, run of uh, pipe to it, and uh, it's a toss up between uh, number uh, two and uh, number one, which has the longest, since number one has more elbows. But uh, anyway, I uh, got her all mounted up there, so it's uh, it's coming along from the top there. I'll show you what it looks like. Carburetor sits over to one side there. So uh, having lots of fun with this project, but uh, it's, uh, it's coming along. So. Shouldn't be too, too much longer now before I actually uh, get a chance to uh, try firing it up. So thanks everyone for your patience.